Greetings, traveler. Got back your stolen horn, and I, uh, killed the thieves. Shame that. They weren't evil men. Didn't give me a choice. Where's my reward? Take it. And next time, slay some damn monsters. Such thing as bad ships on my web. Work with fucking safe. Did you sever his head? Head of a giant. Hey, Shusta. Take it you're good with scissors. Give me a haircut. It ain't something I usually do, but it wouldn't be right to turn down a traveler. So long. Hey, Shusta. Glad they look at what you got. Wise man. No common rags among my wares. So long. Come see me again sometime. Spotted you from the tar. They sent me to open the gate. Why was it closed? Is that famous Skellige hospitality? Me? Tis tradition. After the feast, the Jarls will choose the king, so the doors must remain closed. Only the sons and daughters of Skellige may stay in the castle. Krach make an exception just for me? All know what you did for Ceres and Yalmar. Today, you're one of us. Come, Krakowitz. How's the mood in there? Calm. Too calm. How's that? We've an adage here at Skellige. At a good feast, meat and blood flow in equal measure. Surely you consider this barbaric on the continent, no? Not sure. Sounds preferable to dull banquets garnished with court intrigue. There. I've as much right to it as you do. And I'd expect you to support me, not pinch my allies. If an aunt crates to wear the crown, it should be you, because you've got fur growing on your chin, that it. Show some of your own, and the arms just might listen to you. What's your mug smacked? Remember, I was left standing last time you crossed fists. <laughs> yeah? So you'll fight the Vilkards with me? Wonder who'll do better? You? Or Yalmar, the giant slayer? Oh, stop 
Zerus! Hey! God damn it! Bad way to play it out. Think I don't know that? But you saw, she's so. so. By stubborn, fierce, mule headed, refuses to listen to anyone. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> True, Arnvald. Me and Cyrus, and they're twins in that retard. Don't see crack. You talking to the Arls? No, went to his chambers. To prepare your promised reward, no doubt. If you've a spell witch, or perhaps you'd fancy some fisticuffs with the Vilcards. Loosen up your joints after your journey. Maybe later. You're spending your sever, is Head of a giant. The arts never crumble. Friends we show our foes we show our axe. Remember. White arts. Use the cards. Yalmar, can you? Oh, seal shut. Take a look. Still got all my teeth? Most of them did quite a number on you. Why are you laughing? They'd have trashed you too. <laughs> Doubt it. That's so? Care to wager on it? Drop any one of the build cars and I'll give you my sword. End up like me, you part with yours. Build cars? Who are they? Ah, these wild men. Live in the hills. Shepherds, then? Aye, without the sheep. They live off killing, eat only what they hunt, and they fight like no one else. You're on. Start wrapping that sword for me. Don't sell your fish till they're in the boat, wolf! Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Nah, me. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly. Fuck. Smacked his gob so hard it's a wonder his brain didn't fly out of his ears. Well, lost the wager. But that was such a spectacle, I don't even mind. Here, may it serve you well. Something I've always wondered. What do you witchers do once there are no battles, flashings, or giants around? Heard you're taking on challengers in fistfights. Challengers? Nah, nah. Ain't none a challenge to us. We're here to hit. Hit till our fists are red with blood. Let's do this. Gladly! Mega Masha, yeah! 
What are you waiting for? Go call the next one. Double your gizzard! Kill! May! Destroy! Come to get ya! Bad idea. You'd never have beat me if I weren't five tankards in. Then bring on someone sober. Think you can find one? I can. Night's still young. Slit your throat. Stop playing with him! Fight good for a continental. Not to your liking. This is no feast. It's a farmer's market where votes are bought and sold like sheepskins. Svanrig is not gonna vie for support. Bran's son will not haggle for a crown that is his by right. Far as I know, crown goes to the claimant who gains the most votes. That is the tradition, but not all traditions are good. The Isle's care should be entrusted to a single family. Take it you have a specific family in mind. Of course. Bran was the best King Skellig has seen in centuries. The throne should pass on to Svanriga, his true born son, and then on to his sons. What's wrong with voting for your king? Take a walk. Listen and you'll understand. The claimants already hand out land, promise privileges, titles, favorable judgments. They behave like whores lifting their skirts for every passerby. A king, by the grace of votes, is no ruler, but a debtor. This must end. We must start by placing Bran's firstborn son on the throne. I hope the Yarns will see the wisdom of it. Leaving Kertrolda? Tomorrow at daybreak. Enjoy yourself, Master Geralt. Stephen, come! I've been waiting for you. So, feast to your liking. Any better than your...
continental balls. Definitely more to drink. Aye, there is. Rolled all of it out of my cellars. Double meads, triple, Cintrian plum brandy, a hackamum spirit that burns the mouth like boiling water. Clan on Crate knows the meaning of hospitality. Something tells me there's a purpose to your hospitality. Aye, there is. In the Isles, mead and meat stand to gain you as much support as feats accomplished blade in hand. If that's true, you can rest easy about how the vote will turn out. I'll rest easy on the morrow, when the crown rests on one of my children's heads. Feeling torn between Yalmar and Ceres? You mean do I have a favorite? Nay. They're as different as fire and water. But on crate blood flows in both. Between you and me, Yalmar's not too hot-headed to be king. Depends on the kind of king you have in mind. Want one who'll send emissaries, move figurines about a map, calculate the most profitable option? Then yes, he's too hot-headed. But Skelliger wants a different ruler. The kind who'll drown Nilfgaard in blood. Sooner jump into a fire than surrender. And that is Yalmar. If you escalate your attacks, you stand to infuriate Amir. Could regret it someday. In Skelliger, we spit on the notion of peace at any cost. Think the Council of Jarls will dare to put a woman on the throne? If you'd asked me some months ago, I'd have laughed in your face. But today I see, and I'm not alone, that Ceres has something as rare on the Isles as a hot summer. Patience. Others act, then think. She's different. She thinks things through, the for, the against. But once she takes action, not a force in the world could stop her. Promised me a reward for helping your children. And I aim to keep my word. Here. This bauble's been in the family for generations. I give it to you for helping ensure the line endures. Beautiful craftsmanship. Thanks. I'm the one. Cloth! Give me some cloth! Gotta stop the bleeding! Quick! Da. Da. Take my cloak. Oh, 
grandson. He'll pull through. A shark grabbed my leg once. Albion! He's dead. <laughs> Crack! Where'd those bears come from, huh? Answer! Now! Careful how you speak to my dad. Stow your blade, pup, or Crack will lose a son too. You insult me, Lugas, and now you threaten my son. Not stuck with this. Dad, come here. Come on! Put you down like a rabid dog. Calm down. Calm down. Enough blood's been spilt. Someone brought these beasts here to murder our sons and brothers. We cannot restore their lives. But we can. We must avenge them. This burden falls upon the host and his offspring. Find the guilty on crate. Find and kill them. Else your clan will be cursed for a hundred generations to come. Anybody see how the bears got in? Don't matter. I know where to find the guilty already. Wait! Are you mad? You're gonna kill folk before we've learned what happened. Learn all you want. Meantime, I'll go wash the shame off our clan. Hey, the Yarls aren't listening anymore. Stop playing the hero and think for a second. Our honor's at stake, sis. I can't wait. Are you listening to me? Someone let those bears in. We must know who, and the answer lies somewhere in this room. You're right, Ceres. I'll help you. Thanks. Fine. See you when I return with the traitor's heads. I'll stay here. Someone must see to everything. Summon the healer, hand the fallen over to their families. Wolf, I thank you. Ever see anything like that? No, and I hope I never will again. Where'd the bears come from? We were all laughing, eating, drinking. And suddenly, a massacre. Torrents of blood on the walls. What happened before the massacre? Be precise. Y young Lucas bet he could empty a barrel of beer in one go. He climbed on the table, grabbed a pony keg of centrin wheat, and started chugging. His throat bulged like a blowfish. Face went red, but he kept drinking. Folks started banging their tankards on the table, shouted, Lugos, Lugos, then... From the other side of the room, we heard this roar. We turned in unison as if a coxswain had called. They were there. They were already there. Folks closest to the bears didn't even manage to draw their weapons. They... They were ripped to shreds. We'll avenge them, I promise. Know who died? Drogadar. Drakeborn Du. Blue Boy Lugos. Yalborn. Otrig. Take some time, mention them all. I heard you helped Lugos, as you helped me with the Haim. But you could name the claimants to the throne who survived in one breath. You, Yalmar, and Svanriga. What are you saying? Nothing, just yet. We've talked enough. Let's look around. Let me know what you find. I'll speak to the others. Maybe someone saw more than I did. Pull yourself together, Sinna. How'd they get in? I don't know. The gates were shut. Look, do we a moment? Turn back around. Saw a bear standing by the bench. Just the gods.